Hello, Mary Meet. So it is time for another one of Benefica's Occult Findings. Basically, this is a collective haul of the various witchy goodies I have gotten since the last time I made one of these videos. Since I have a lot to go through, let's start. Let me just adjust the camera. There we go. Let's start with magazines because I've only gotten three of those. Um, it, since uh, the pound is very high compared to the Norwegian crown currently, it's gotten really expensive to buy uh, English magazines. So I mostly stopped buying them. Uh, even though I like them, it's not just not worth paying more for a magazine than I would for a whole book. So I've gotten some Swedish and Norwegian ones. One is Inspire. First time I've gotten this one. And it is number... Um, it's the summer, the summer number 2015. Swedish New Age magazine. And then I have gotten uh, the magazine Harmony. It's uh, one of uh, from Ilshell. And it is number uh, 3, 2015. And I've gotten one of Medium. Medium is my absolute favorite New Age magazine. And it is number 4, 2015. So yes, and then we can move on to some stones and such. I haven't gotten a lot of that. Uh, I have gotten these three guys here. Basically little double terminated Stones, pyrite, bloodstone, and oh, uh, red aventurin. So I've got that, and two uh, pendulums. I think they, these cost a dollar a piece and they're so cute. Basically, this is rose quartz. Uh, it's just a little chain and there's just this little glass bead, glass or plastic, I think it actually is plastic, bead at the end. But the pendulum itself is rose quartz. And opalite. Things these will be good for basically having my purse. I like have I, I have several purses, and I like having a pendulum in each purse just in case I need one. So yeah, I got those, and they were cheap. And then I got um, I've been wanting one of these for a long time, but I can get somewhat pricey. It's a calligraphy stone, also called calligraphy jasper. I have been thinking getting into. Um, Automatic writing again, and this this stone here is supposed to be very good at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And then I got this wand that's basically um, a yellow quartz, and there's a little black angel on top and a little crystal point on it. But the first one I got arrived broken, uh, so I talked with the seller who sent me another one. So I glued the first one, yes, because, but a glued stone will not have the same uh, energy as before it was broken. It is still a pretty nice piece. I'm thinking that I'm taking that with me to my mother's place because I have an altar there and a setup when I'm visiting her. And I don't have a wand there, so I'm thinking it can serve as my wand while I'm visiting her. So I'll show you both of them. Basically, this is the one that I originally ordered, the one that got broken. I don't know if you can actually see where it's glued, because my camera isn't too good around here. Yeah, you can see the, the break there. But it's still pretty piece, and this is the replacement I got. So it's basically, these are garnets, and rock crystal. And I'm not completely sure what the angel is made of. I think it is um, yet. 
that or obsidian and then there is yellow quartz so yes and uh, yeah so the seller was very nice when uh, it had broken in the mail she immediately sent a replacement out so no problem there and then i have gotten one piece of alter equipment and that is a new altar cloth i'm not sure if i can show you all of it because of but basically the altar i have in my living room is just a part of a table that i we basically have a table here for all sorts of various forms of crap and i have taken one part of that where i have my living room altar and it is basically a long thin one so I needed one of these because the altar cloth I have on it now definitely needs a wash. So yeah, it's just these silver pentacles and gold trimmings. I really think that was pretty. So I got that. And yes, then we can move on to some uh, oracle decks. So first I got this one. Which is basically these types of um, fun, uh, basically yes, for collector purposes, uh, anime ones. So this is for fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah, it's for fairy tale. And I have gotten one for um, Final Fantasy thirteen. And then into some more serious decks, I have. This one I haven't had a look at yet. It's the Impersonalist Tarot from uh, Low Scarabia. And this one I have already rev reviewed. It's the Matter Baron's Tarot from Low Scarabia. And this one, the Happy Tarot. So that also is from Low Scarabia. So I get a lot of their tarot decks. And I've gotten this kit here. It's the um, Easy Lenormand by Marcus Katz and Tali Goodwin. It's basically a deck and book kit to learn the Lenormand. Thought this was a nice kit. Got that. Uh, and I've gotten this one, uh, which I have reviewed, Dragon Ball C Mystery Tarot Card Set. And this one, which I have also reviewed. Uh, the Raven's Prophecy Tarot by Maggie Stiff Water, which is by Lavellen. Okay, then. Then we can move on. Let me just put those stones somewhere right when I place these down there, do not crush them, because we do not want them crushed or broken. There we go, then let's move on to books, because I definitely gotten some uh, some of those. Here's one I have reviewed, Celtic Women's Spirituality, by uh, Edane McCoy, and it is by Lavellen. And... I've been wanting this book for quite some time. Uh, it's Crystals and Sacred Sites. Use crystals to access the power of sacred landscapes for personal and planetary transformation by UD Hall. And it's published by Fairwinds. And I have this massive book here. Communicating with Spirit, Long Suppressed in Western Culture and Religions by Carl Levelin Westsche and Joe H. Slate, and it's by Levelin. And I have Redneck Shaman by William Wallace, and I think it's self published. And I just had to have this book just based on the name. It does seem to be an actually pretty good book, uh, though, on the topic of shamanism. So yeah, 
How about that? But just the name. And I've gotten uh, The Practical Art of Divine Magic by uh, Patrick Dunn. And it's by Lavellen. And it has that uh, fake velvet thing cover that I hate. And I have A Beginner's Guide to Hellenismus by Timothy J. Alexander, and it's by Lulu, who is self-published, basically. I have been really interested in ancient Greek and Roman uh, paganism lately, and while I will probably never be out a reconstructionist, I'm far too uh, eclectic for that, I like to read more about the topic. And then I have The Gods of Reason, by Timothy J. Alexander, and it's also a book on Helen Nevis, as you can see there. And it's also self-published through Lulu. And then we have The Secrets of the White Smith Tarot, with previously unseen photography and text from White and Smith. It's basically Marcus Katz and Tali Goodwin again, that has made the um, this one is by Levelin. And then I have The Complete Aromatherapy and Essential Oils Handbook for Everyday Wellness by Nerys Persson and Laura Chantel. And it's by Robert Rose Publishing. Then we have The Witch's Guide to Wands, a complete botanical, magical, and elemental guide to making, choosing, and using the right wand by Gypsy Elaine Teig. And it's by Weiser Books. I haven't had time to read this one yet, but it do look interesting. So I am thinking that the wand is getting an. There's several wand books out now, and this. I wish there were some more books that went into depth on the other typical occult tools, because while definitely ones are very useful, practical, I would like to see one on Atames, one on the Cauldron, one of all of these various typical tools, not just constant focusing on brooms and ones, because they have been a lot in media, basically. So yeah, but you can't have everything. And then we have a big one here. The Book of Oberon, A Source of Elizabethan Magic by Daniel Horn, that was some name, James R. Clark, and Joseph Peterson. And it's by Levelin. This one is an awesome book. I haven't had time to read all of it yet, but yeah, this is one of those things that when people complain that Levelin is just fluff, then I publish things like that. this, which is just awesome. And then we have Complete Dictionary of Dreams by Dr. Michael Lennox by Levelin. I'm not the hugest fan of dream dictionaries because basically it have a tendency to mean different things to different people. For example, let's say that you have been uh, bitten by a dog at some point. Then seeing a dog in your dream will have a different meaning than if I see a cute little fluffy puppy dog. It just will have a different meaning. So it's very individual, and a lot of these books doesn't go into depth on that, but it's a fun read anyway. Then we have Vika Elemental Magic, a guide to the elements, witchcraft, and magic spells. It's the little one here, and it's published by uh, Lisa Chamberlain, so I think it's because that's also the author. I think it's self-published. I like to get some of these smaller books at times, these basically books that are not one of the typical big ones that everybody has, just to make my uh, library more um, diverse. And I have the Grand Grimoire. 
by um, an anonymous scholar and it's by Theophania Publishing. Basically, it's uh, uh, from one of those manuscripts from the fifteen from fifteen twenty two. Basically, ritual magic. I just picked it up on a whim. It's one of those. Didn't consider it, but it does look to be a good whim because it do look to be a nice book. Uh, it's a wonderful afterlife. True, inspiring stories from a psychic medium. By Christy Robinette. And it's published by Lavelle. And uh, DII Di Magic Strange Whimsical Guide to Creativity by Anthony Alvarado. And it's by Pedigree Publishing. Basically, uh, all sort of Uh, things that you can do, um, synchronicity, divination, it's basically a mixed bag. This one is one I have reviewed, it's Is Your Pet Psychic by Richard Webster by Lavelle. Moving a bit quickly through this because there's a lot of books. And I have... Phantom Armies of the Night, The Wild Hunt and Ghostly Processions of the Undead by Claude Leconte. I'm not completely sure how his name is to pronounce. This, this man here. And it's by that publishing house. I just thought this looked so interesting, I just had to have it. And then I have... The Natural Psychic by Ellen Dogan, Dugans, A Personal Guide to Psychic Realm by Lavellen. And it is the worst one of those things yet, it actually feels wet to touch. You know, why are they doing it? It's, it? Yes, it's supposed to feel like velvet, but it doesn't. It just feels like a book is slimy and wet. It's, I'm, like I said, it's Satan's ball sack that I threw this out of. And I have Get Answers from Divinity Within You, Tarot and Kabbalah by Samuel on Air. I had to have this one because I really like the and I'm very interested in the in basically uh, how the Kabbalah and the Tarot interact and the connections between them. And then I have Extraordinary Psychic. Proven techniques to master your natural psychic abilities by Deborah Lynn Katz by LDP. And one well, another huge book here. Holistic Tarot Holistic Tarot by Benabel Venn. And it's published by North Atlantic Books. It just looks at the size of this thing. You can murder a grown man with it. But yeah, it looks really, really interesting. And this is a book I have been I have been just dying to get it since Levelin published it, but I published it. It was so extremely expensive because their ceremonial magic books usually are. I, I understand why. Because they need to cover the cost of publishing something that has a very narrow market. Basically, a book about crystal healing, for example, there's a lot of people interested in that. Ceremonial magic, not so much. But it's basically Techniques of Greco-Egyptian Greco Magic by Stephen Skinner. And it's by, this says Golden Harvard, but it's also published by Lavellen. And yeah, they finally come down to a price that I can afford, and I snatched one up. And then I have Haunted Plantations of the South by Richard uh, Southall, and it's by Lavellen. And I have Hellenimus Today by Timothy J. Alexander, and it's self-published.
Uh, and we have uh, Wisdom of Birch, Oak and Dew by uh, Penny Billington and it's by Lavella and it's also one of those very, very disgusting covers. Basically about uh, tree magic. It's another one of those small self-published books on Wicca. Wicca Crystal Magic by Lisa Chamberlain. And another one of those, Wicca Candle Magic by Lisa Chamberlain. We have a little odd one here. Dream Yoga, Consciousness, Astral Projection and Transformation of the Dream State by Samuel on Weir. And I have no idea who has published it. It's just you, Glorian, it says. Glorian. Just Dream Yoga. Sounded fun, so I picked it up. And I have Evidence of Phantom Hitchhikers by Michael Goff. And it's by Weiser Books. Just a little book here on a rather interesting topic. I have Spiritual Regression for Peace and Healing. Discover Your Life Mission Throughout Past Life Exploration by Michael Newton, PhD by Lavelle. Develop Your Medical Intuition uh, by Sherry Dillard, also published by Lavelle. Circle of Eight, Creating Magic for Your Place on Earth by Levelin. Basically a book on uh, it's a magical system, basically, form of witchcraft. Let's see if we can find a place to put it. And then I have The Divine Science, Prayers and Mantras for Protection and Awakening, a collection of three books by Samuel Onware. Uh, by the same Glorian. I haven't read that one yet. Starting to run out of space to put these. I have the Marseille, Marse Marseille Tarot uh, by Camilla Elias. Uh, by. I cannot even begin to pronounce the press that made it. Basically, I had this book recommended to me as an excellent book on the tarot that went a bit beyond the beginner books, so I just picked this one up. And I have um, Gold, Israel Regardis Lost Book of Alchemy by Levelen. This one is so awesome. Because uh, Israel Regardi is awesome. And I have The Complete Guide to Clinical Aromatherapy and Essential Noise for the Physical Body by Elizabeth Ashley. And I'm not really sure who has published it. I have Energy Healing for Women. It's published by Lavelle. I have Dose Your Way to Psychic Power by Anthony Talmadge. I think this is self-published. I have Mind Reading Quick and Easy by Richard Webster by Levelen. I have Ghost of Lincoln. Discovering his paranormal legacy by Llewellyn. This was sort of a picking up on a them thing. Uh, I love those stories. I thought it would be different and interesting. I haven't had time to read it yet. And I have Fool Me Once. Um, it's a book on tarot. 
by Steve Rocksmith and Lisa Falco. And it's by Ink. Evidence of Eternity, Communicating with the Spirits for Proof of the Afterlife by Mark Anthony uh, by uh, Lavelle. Somewhere. Sort of burying myself in books here. This one is one I reviewed recently, Every Witch Way, uh, Spells and Advice from Two Very Different Witches by Ellen Dugan and Tess Whitehurst. By Lavellen, I think. Is it? No? No, Lavellen? I thought it was Lavellen. Either way, this one. And I got The Great Work by Tiffany Lysik. It's basically um, a book on celebrating seasonal seasonal uh, sabbats and magic throughout the year, and it's by Lavellen. And the last thing I have gotten for this haul is a Vicent Bardo initiation and self transformation by Paul V. Baylor. And it's published by Prism Unity. This was sort of just something I picked up on a whim because I found it uh, used. So yeah, that was my haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. Have a great day and blessed be.